Hello everyone, this is Catherine. Um, this is a quick tutorial showing you guys how I made this uh, composite long exposure image. Um, some of it was long exposure, but most of it was just a composite in Photoshop. So I'm going to start at the beginning, show you guys how I did it. So I'm just going to delete all these layers here. Alright, so this is the picture I started with. Um, I was just testing the light before the fireworks had actually started, um, seeing you know how my exposure should be and all that stuff. So um, obviously there's no fireworks in the sky, but I really liked this picture because all the kids were running around with their glow sticks and I thought that looked really cool and would be a really good base image to start with. Um, so I decided to just use the firework pictures that I took as an overlay, um, which worked really well because the firework pictures themselves, as you can see, are really black. And when you use an overlay and you change the mode to screen, everything that's black goes away. So these are the pictures that I took of the actual fireworks. And then um, yeah, I decided to just put them over the other picture. So how I did that was just took this little selection tool, selected the whole picture, and then um, I go up here to edit, copy, or you can just hit control C. And then you go back to the picture that you want to use as an overlay, and then, or back to the picture you want to overlay on top of, and then you just edit, paste or you can hit control V and there it plops it on top of there and then it's a little bit big so I would go to edit free transform or control T hold down shift while you drag the corner make it whatever size you want put it wherever you want and then hit the check mark and go over here where it says normal this is the layer style panel right here so I'm changing the layer style from normal to screen. Ta-da! And all the black goes away. And then I just did that with all of the pictures of the fireworks. Well, I don't think I used all of them. I think I used like maybe eight of them, and I think I took 12 all together. Um, so yeah, just control copy, control paste, move it up here into the trees because it's got some trees in there change it to a screen Ta -da! control copy control paste change it to screen and then move it where I want it this one's also got some trees in there there we go pretty cool huh so when I was taking the pictures of the fireworks um, my shutter speed didn't stay the same the whole time. I changed it around a bit because I was just trying to see what kinds of different effects I could get. So you can see in like, where is it? This one, for example, see how they're really, really short? This one had a short exposure time. I think the shortest I went was 10 seconds. So this one was probably 10 seconds. Go up here and paste it move it up in the corner so this one gets cut off a little bit so I'm just going to make sure that one's up in a corner over a smidge there we go this one, whoops that one over a little bit so yeah, this, right now I'm just hitting the like left right arrows, if you hit the left right arrows while the layer is selected you can move it with the arrow keys on the keyboard. So that's what I'm doing with that one right now. Um, and then, so you can see how this one has really long streaks as opposed to this one that has really short streaks. So these ones with really long streaks had a longer exposure. So the longest I went was 30 seconds because that's as long as my camera will go without being on bulb. So that was, this one was probably 30 seconds and this one was probably only 10. And then some of them might be in between there um, I think I did keep it on 30 for the majority of them, but after a while it was kind of long, and some of them were getting overexposed, so um, I wanted to switch it up a little bit. Um, Alright, let's see. So yeah, basically that's all I did.
is control copy, control paste, put it, whoa, where did that go? Put it where you want it, change it to a screen, resize it if you want to, and uh, that's pretty much it. So like this one right here that I just put on, you can see that there's some smoke there. I personally like that. I think it looks cool. It, it adds to it, especially since the sky is a little splotchy with color anyway. I think it just makes it look cooler. But if you didn't want that there, you could just make a layer mask. Like click on this bad boy right here. And this right here is a layer mask. So then you would take your brush, make sure it's black, and then just paint where you don't want things to show up. So you can get rid of that. Like right here kind of has a hard edge a little bit. So if I figure out which picture that is, this one can add a layer mask to that one and get rid of that hard edge there and that way you don't have to you can hide anything you might not want um, Oops, I just deleted something and that's about it control copy control paste change it into a screen and then move it where I want it that's it that's all I did um, so yeah, go out, take some pictures, have some fun, play around in Photoshop, and uh, have a happy 4th of July.